All right, so I'm over in HubCart right now and I have my product creator open to create a new product. And I'm just gonna choose on, uh, for this one, I'm gonna choose a unisex t-shirt. This is the classic t-shirt. And then uh, for my design, I have my design over here, the one that we just made. And I'm gonna bring that over here and I'm just gonna drop it right there in that little box right here. And it's gonna upload it and boom, now that design is there. I'm gonna type in pit crew t-shirt for, um, actually I'm just gonna leave it at pit crew, just pit crew uh, or pit crew, yeah, t-shirt. We'll just put in t-shirt, all right. Um, now, Hubcart does integrate with uh, with Etsy, so you create your products right inside of here, and then you can publish them to Etsy. I'm not going to run through all that training in here because this isn't a Hubcart training. This is more strategical about how to create these digital designs and and print on demand. We could do this. You know, this could be a wall art. This could be a sticker. This could be whatever we want. Um, I'm just showing you for the sense or for the sake of this training. I'm going to show you print on demand. Okay, so. Uh, we have the pit crew design. We have the t-shirt chose chosen. We have do we want it on the front or do we want it on the back? Um, let's actually put this on the back. Let's just do a back design here. And I'm gonna drag. I have to drag my design here again, but there it goes. I got pit crew T so, um, as the product title. In the niche, I'm just gonna put uh, pit bull dogs cars. Uh, 1968 Pontiac GTO. And then uh, for the product description, the cool thing about Hubcart is it will generate a description for you using AI. So it's gonna take all this stuff that I've already got input here, and I'm gonna type on, I'm gonna click on generate and give it you know, 10, 15 seconds to create that product description for us. And boom, it is done. Let's read the product description. Introducing the Pit Crew t-shirt, a unique and stylish way to show off your love for pit bulls, dogs, cars, and 1968 Pontiac GTO crafted with, and you might want to change this up a little bit. It's not gonna, it's just grabbing the details and gonna create a product description for us, but you might want to um, you know, perfect it a little bit yourself, all right? Crafted with premium materials and unbeatable comfort and durability, this unisex shirt is sure to turn heads wherever you go. This distinctive design features a classic black background. Um, it doesn't. Um, a classic race background or something or track, you, you know, you might want to, change it to that track background adorned with bold white outline of Pontiac GTO. Um, you might want to change that bold adorned with a um, bold 1968 Pontiac GTO in full speed ahead mode. The vibrant red backdrop behind the car adds an extra touch of flair. Um, that will make you stand out from the crowd, but that's not all at the center of it all is durable pit bull pup ready for action. So why choose our pit crew tee? Here's just a few, or here's just some of the benefits. Unisex uh, fit and sizes, prefer for any gender and body type. Bold and eye-catching designs, show off your passion and style. Premium materials, comfortable weight. And then it goes on and goes on and goes on. Okay, so you can finish reading that if you want to at some other time, create your own and have fun with that. So we already have everything that we need in here. Um, images, we could create the images later on. We could actually add more sizes. Uh, we could actually change the colors. So right here, I have black here. Let's change this athletic Heather. I think that's like a gray. Um, we go all the way up to 5X, but maybe we only wanna go up to, to a 2X or something like that, okay? Um, and then maybe don't we don't even wanna include small. So now we have, um, actually just go ahead and click that because I, I don't know why that's there like that. I don't wanna mess something up. So uh, we'll leave those ones selected. We have couple grays, um, what color will this else look on? This might look good on like a light blue. It might look good on a royal blue. And um, and then we'll just leave it at that. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and click create product and I'm gonna give it some time to create the product and it's actually gonna create us some mock-up images. So it takes a little bit of time to do that, but you could see 29 variants all together with the sizes and colors. Uh, remember we unselected these ones up above, so we'll do the same thing there, unselect them here. It's so that way we got, what is it now, 25 variants. Let's go ahead and click Create Product and give it some time. All right, so our product is done. It is back here in our catalog, and you can see the shirt here. And it looks like it's a little bit high, but that's okay because it's on the back. It's not on the front. Remember, that's why uh, it's it's high up there. Um, if it was on the front, then we would want it down lower, but it's good for what we're looking for. Um, so there's several things we could do here. We could add it to our store. And like I said, we have Etsy, we have Shopify, a bunch of different options here. You would just choose the store that you have connected to your account and maybe change some of the details here and pricing and all that, and then click add the store and it'll automatically go to your store.
So while we're waiting for the Hubcart mockup generator to be fully up and ready, I'd recommend using Placeit or Canva uh, or another mockup generator to create as many images as you possibly can. And so I have one image here. I'm just gonna go ahead and upload my design here. I'm gonna grab my design and just drag it over here. And uh, it, could, it allows me to scale it to make it smaller and move it around. So I'm gonna make it a little bit smaller and then move it up on his shoulders. You can see it's there on the back, maybe a little bit bigger and uh, probably just like that. Now that's not the best looking design, but it gives us exactly what we're looking for. So uh, we have the design now on the back of this person. And uh, if I was going to, um, if, if I really wanted this design, I'm gonna wanna pay for the account and get rid of that place it logo right there. Um, but before I do that, you could come over here and choose your background. You could actually change the backgrounds. So while it was a gray background before, uh, we could just give it some time and there we go. And now we could uh, change the background and for the background, we could come over here and type in maybe cars, see what's there, see what comes up there. Okay. Okay. It gives us a bunch of different options. There's a bunch of racing, maybe this one right here, maybe, I don't know. Does that work? Um, I like that. He's out on the road. He's got the dog there, the car there. I mean, I think that's a good one. I think that one works really good. Or maybe, maybe this one, we switch that one up now. No, definitely not that one. Um, one of these, yeah, one of these would work. These, these look good. Um, this one kind of goes with the theme. So yeah, you would basically just choose a design or choose a background that would go there. I, I like the first one really. The first one was still my favorite way up here on the road. Um, where did that one go? Right here, this track. That's my favorite so far. Okay, now that that's done, uh, normally I just click on download to download it, but for the sake of my demo here, what I'm gonna do is uh, blow this up a little bit, and then I'm just gonna take a screenshot of it just so that I have it. Um, you're not gonna wanna do this because it's gonna have those words in there. It's gonna have the watermark, um, but for the sake of the demo, I am gonna do that there. Okay, and then what I could do is I could actually create more backgrounds or more images, more mockups. You know, you want to have you know, a good, good amount of them where the product is in use. That's the main thing is having images where the product's in use. And uh, then we can go take them over and upload them to our store. So I think for now, I think that's it. I think we created our product. We could do this again. We could put it on the front of the shirt. We could put it on a coffee mug. Um, there's a lot of different ways we could do this. I don't really like the way this design looks on this shirt, but you know, for the sake of demo, I think we're gonna go ahead and leave that as is, okay? So I've shown everything that we wanted to, wanted to do so far up until this point. The next uh, phase or the next step is to create 90 different designs and then we're gonna start getting those up onto the store. So uh, in the next video, we're gonna go through that. All right, see you there.